All right, YouTube. All right, we're gonna do the uh, seats in the 1999 17 foot Sea Hunt center console today. Uh, talked a little bit about this project in one of my last videos when I did the trailer repair and the uh, outboard paint. Um, right now, I'm just waiting for the UPS guy to drop off our Krylon vinyl paint. Hopefully, he'll uh, bring that today. I missed the guy yesterday because I was working, but uh, I'm gonna. I've already come out here and got the seats removed from the boat, and I'm gonna show you all that. So show you the damage that's on the seats and. Uh, and uh, we'll put this video together on how to repair these seats. All right, so I've removed the seats. It's a center console boat, so I've got a seat back that uh, pivots forward and, and back. Um, I've got the uh, seat back for the cooler seat. Um, the cooler cushion that I've got is in really good shape. It's been replaced in the last year, so I'm not gonna bother painting it. Um, if the paint color doesn't match, I'll probably go through and, and do it later on, but for now, I'm not gonna worry about it. But that is the seat back that connects to the uh, forward section of the center console um, part of the cooler and then that's the bench uh, seat that goes in the back behind the console and you can see the the damage I've got on here I've got some cracking on the sides which I'm not too worried about um, it hasn't gotten to the point where it's cracked due to the foam so it's just some surface stuff so hopefully that vinyl spray will take care of that um, also got some damage from mold and you can see where there's just years of sunlight and uh, salt water and stuff that's gotten to it and it's kind of just degrading the uh, vinyl. You know, the, these seats are almost 20 years old, so they probably need a, a new coat of something on it. But you can see the damage here from mold. Um, I'm assuming a lot of this damage came from sunscreen, salt water, and stuff like that. You know, people leaning up on it. So hopefully today we'll get this project going. So the next step that I'm going to do since they're out of the boat is I'm going to go through and I'm going to take some simple green and just. Uh, clean everything up try to get some of this staining off uh, so we have a good surface to, to spray this stuff on uh, this is just something I wanted to show um, so I've gone through and simple greened them I'm not gonna clean them up any further than that I, I'm gonna wait until I see what the instructions are on the back of this can when it, when it arrives but um, I simple greened them wipe them down with uh, clean water kind of get the simple green residue off of it but plan was to get these uprights out of the seat and these do not these screws I'm not sure what boat you know if you end up doing this project your own it's gonna probably be designed differently for every boat but sea hunt put us put a nut on the back side of these in the seat and the only way to get them out is to take the seat apart to get them off so I'm gonna try my best to just get in there and tape it up um, because like I said I don't want to disturb uh, the existing uh, construction of the the vinyl because uh, I kind of need that as a base to lay down this this new vinyl paint. So, um, you know, if you decide to do this project on your own, kind of decide whether or not you really want to go that far with it. If you want to take these pieces off to, uh, you know, keep from getting vinyl paint on them, I am not going to do that. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab some tape here, tape everything off that I need covered and uh, remove the brackets on the back side of the bench sheet and then uh, hopefully we can get some paint on these things soon okay <clears throat> so I'll come through and I'm just want to show I've taped up all this stuff that I don't want to get the vinyl spray on <clears throat> underside of the bench seat and I was unable to take off the hinges on this thing because I noticed that they have a significant amount of rust uh, on the bolts that hold it in place and they're stainless bolts so I'm not really sure I guess just age got to them but uh, I didn't want to try to crack them off there and break them you know I was, in, I was worried about them snapping and creating a whole mess of more problems where I'd have to re-drill it and put new stainless bolts and all that stuff so <clears throat> I decided to just leave it alone no one sees that anyway so but anyways I taped them up taped up the uh, uprights all the way down both sides and the next step we're going to do is we're going to get the paint out and we're going to start painting it. Alright, so finally came. What we're going with is a Rust-Oleum Specialty Vinyl. Uh, this stuff is supposed to cure flexible uh, like original vinyl. Um, I'm going with white for the boat seats. Uh, it says it dries to the touch in 10 minutes. Uh, you can handle it times one hour and then it cures fully in 24 hours. So I, I got it from HomeDepot.com. I paid, you have to buy it in cans of six, six cans in a, in a box. Um, you can't buy them individually. They're $4.98 a piece. 
it ended up being about $29 with shipping, um, UPS round. Um, a little cheaper to go through Home Depot than it was to go through Lowe's. Lowe's wanted, I think they wanted like $32 for six cans uh, with shipping. So I'm going to lay on the first coat of this, kind of on, on this back seat, backrest seat here uh, as a test. And uh, I will let it dry for 10 minutes and then we'll come back and uh, take a look at it. Okay, we got coat number one on. Looks uh, so far pretty decent. This is just a light first coat. I'm going to continue to do um, probably, I'm probably going to put about six to eight coats on this thing in all honesty. Uh, I want it as thick as possible. Um, I've got six cans of this stuff, so I'm going to use all of it. So, um, so far so good. Get back with you. All right, so, so far we are three coats deep on the bench sheet. Three coats on the seat back. Looks pretty good. And three coats on the seat back for the console bench seat. So far, I am impressed. This stuff looks pretty good. Let's just hope that it handles and stays, uh, you know, when people are sitting on it and leaning up against it and stuff like that. It says that it can take scratching and all that stuff. It won't peel, crack, tear, and stuff. So it says that on the can, but I'll believe it when I see it. But so far, looking good I've gone through two cans so far so I've got four left I intend to keep one uh, just for touch-up so I've uh, got three cans that I can still go through and put as many coats as I want on first thing I noticed though is some, the cracking on the seats uh, that was there on the under vinyl uh, this is not from the, the coat uh, it's just you know when you start painting these things you start noticing every little crack and tear on it but layer by layer it's filling in so if I get two years out of it, I'll be happy. You know, I'll, I'll get them redone eventually. But like I said, this is a 20 year old boat, so. Just want to go out fishing in it. So it doesn't have to look pretty. Get back with you. All right, I'm putting about the fifth coat on these things now. I'm just gonna keep coating them. Uh, like I said, I got six cans of this stuff and I, I don't, I'm only gonna keep one can just for touch ups and stuff like that. Um, the cracking is filling very slowly is filling in it's getting covered up i'm just going to keep keep covering everything until we get it covered up and filled walk over here and take a look sorry about the camera movement walk over here and take a look at this other one it's it's looking good i, I don't think i'm going to be able to uh fill all the cracking on the top of here but if it you know if it looks good from a few feet away i'm happy you know i mean they're not staying they're not uh looking like garbage like they did before so um anyways i'm gonna keep keep doing it and i'll uh show you guys the final product after it uh goes inside and cures overnight uh can says it needs to cure for 24 hours um it's usable after six so um it says you can sit on them or use use whatever you're spraying after six hours but i'm gonna let them sit once i get the final coat on tonight and uh probably tomorrow morning i'll take a look and shoot a video of it from inside the house and then we'll do another video once I install them back on the boat with the uh, final look all right I'm losing daylight so I'm gonna have to work on this video again tomorrow but uh, the, the cracks are filling in you can see this this vinyl stuff is working um, it's filling the cracks I'm probably gonna go ahead let this uh, I, had, I had to put about oh god probably eight coats on here to get it to fill just to that point so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, let this cure in my attic for several days and make sure that it's completely flexible and done and then I'll come out here and put about eight more coats on it or whatever I can get out of two cans and we'll go from there. Alright, so <clears throat> it's the next morning. Uh, I let this uh, seat sit up in my attic. Uh, it's been about 12 hours now since I sprayed the last coat on. Um, <clears throat> and if you forgive the lighting up here, it's not very good, but uh, they're uh, it's flexible. It feels like new vinyl. Um, it says that you can sit on it after six hours of curing time, but uh, I'm going to let it sit up here for a couple days. Uh, we're supposed to get a lot of rain the next couple days here in South Carolina, so I'm not going to be able to get out there and put everything back together just yet. Um, <clears throat> but just wanted to give you all a, a video here. And what I'll do is I'm going to 
go ahead and publish this uh, video to YouTube and I'll do a follow-up video once I get the boat all back together in the next uh, week or so. But it's good and it's you can see where the cracking was in the seats, all that really wide cracking and it just filled all that stuff right in with vinyl and I'm pushing on it right now and it's not uh, it's not moving as far as like uh, opening back up so I imagine if I put if I were to put probably four or five more coats on here it probably would di completely disappear and be completely symmetrical and, and flat all the way across but I'm not gonna worry about it so I mean to me it looks it looks pretty good and it's making a little bit of noise up here because I didn't I didn't completely fill these cracks, so when I squeeze it, the cracks are reopening. But I'm not worried about the stuff on the top of this uh, bench seat to uh, backrest. <clears throat> more, than, more than likely, every time we go out in the boat, it's we have a towel over the backside of this anyway, so no one's really going to see it. But everything else looks good. So I'm happy. If you have any questions or comments, let me know uh, through the YouTube uh, comment section on the video. And uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And uh, I'll have more projects to come. Thanks for watching.